what is going on guys and welcome to another video and another part of what if naruto had the ten tailed seals inside of him so before the video starts i just want to say that last uh, there was quite a break between the first video and last video however now i'm gonna be making more videos regularly so I hope you guys will enjoy. And we start at a recap. So last time we really looked into how the Ten Tails was sealed inside of Naruto, into Naruto, and how his early childhood was. And spoiler, it wasn't very good. So now let's get into the next part of the story. After his success, Naruto asks Shiruzen if she he can extend his training by at least one more day, and Naruto agrees to let him borrow the scroll longer. On the next day, before training, he made a shadow clone copy the scroll so that when he had to return the scroll, he could still learn some jutsu afterwards. After about another two days, Naruto was able to do the flying raging consistently and pretty fast at that. It was around this time when a certain Uchiha boy who was the same age as Naruto, started watching him train. This was Sasuke. He was surprised to see Naruto train since he was always said to be a lazy kid, but more often than not, he was just called a monster. Naruto wanted to hide his training not only to surprise everyone, but also to prove everyone that he could become a shinobi as well. But without knowing it, Naruto was already almost at Genin level, at the age of seven. Because he always talked to the Ten Tails, his knowledge about the world and especially Shinobi was good as well. Sasuke was shocked, but he knew that the boy Naruto Uzumaki was the only one in their age group that could rival Sasuke. He was excited to someday fight Naruto in a friend if it was in a friendly match in the academy, or a brutal one on the battlefield. Sasuke didn't care, he was determined to beat Naruto. About a week later, Naruto returns the scroll of sealing, but not without mastering the flying Raijin and beginning to train his Rasengan. In the last five days, he had, he had about a third of his shadow clones practice the flying Raijin, and the rest including himself, practiced the Rasengan. However, he did also practice combining the two attacks like his father did. He reasoned, of course, unknowing of the Naruto's success, wasn't sure what Naruto did with the scrolls, so he asked. Naruto answered that he had mastered the flying Raijin and almost the Rasengan. He reasoned couldn't believe what he was hearing, so he asked Naruto if he could demonstrate. They went outside, and Naruto placed a bunch of kunai, kunai markers in different places and started teleporting from one kunai to another. He risen was shocked and now wanted to see Naruto use the Rasengan. This would be a hard challenge. He reason thought. Naruto started making a Rasengan, but something was different this time. Naruto had always made so many shadow clones that his chakra would spread thin amongst them. But now, the Jubi power was all being formed into a single Rasengan. This Rasengan started transforming into a purplish sphere. This of course being a Bijudama. Naruto smashed it into a tree, thinking the tree was going to break. But little did he know, he would destroy dozens of tree behind it as well. Luckily, no one was hurt. When the dust settled, Hiruzen asked Naruto if he would like to secretly train with him. Naruto gladly accept, accepted as he never really had someone train him. He was amazed of himself without knowing it. He made the Rasengan he trained even more powerful than Minato could. This is of course because instead of spreading the Jubi's power amongst many clones, he put it all into a single strike resulting in the Tail Beast Bomb, which is similar to the Rasengan, called the Bijudama. 
After this incident, Hiruzen takes Naruto out for some Ichiraku ramen, because the Ten Tails doesn't allow Naruto to only eat ramen every day, because he says it's, un it's unhealthy. So Naruto is super excited about his lunch, because he's not only allowed to eat ramen, he's only allowed to eat ramen on special occasions. Hiruzen restated that he wanted to train Naruto, but it must be in secret. If anyone found out, they might not just bear hatred anymore, but also jealousy, and they would question the Hokage's decision about training such a young boy, and a monster at that. At first, Naruto could borrow some more scrolls and learn some better chakra control. Then, later, Hiruzen would train Naruto in person and spar with him. Here we find ourselves after another two year time skip. Naruto is much stronger than anyone his age, with anyone except for Naruto and Hiruzen even knowing it. Naruto has mastered the Flying Raijin, the multi shadow clinch used to, to the point where he, he was able to to make over a million shadow clones if he wanted to. As well as knowing the Rasengan and Rasen Shuriken, he also practiced using his tail beast power and now controls can control up to two tails of the Jubi Chakra. Naruto has a very close friendship to Hiruzen and has also met Asuma and Konohamaru a few times. Naruto's power level is high enough that he, that it crossed Hiruzen's mind that Naruto could join the Anbu Black, Black Ops. Naruto is powerful enough, and he also has a close relation to the third Hokage, as well as being able to hide his real identity behind a mask would help him not find out, well, help other people not find out about Naruto's strength. Naruto refuses, as he wants to live a normal life though, a modest life, so he decided to first go to the academy and make some friends. Hiruzen understands Naruto's decision, but also explains that Naruto could be a completely secret rank that only the Hokage knows about, but that would be for the future. From this day on, Naruto is allowed to go to the academy. Naruto was told that he shouldn't show people his truth strength but still keep on training in secret. Naruto's teacher is of course Iruka, or Iruka, whatever you want to call him. But as in the original, he is unaware of Naruto's true strength. Naruto goes into the academy and aces every single test that he gets, though Iruka is told to keep that a secret, else it could raise suspicion. Naruto is not particularly friends with anyone in the class, so Naruto tells Hiruzen he wants to go to the academy in the same year as Sasuke. Because Naruto is already 9 years old, so is Sasuke, which means the Uchi Uchiha massacre already happened. Sasuke is almost as gloomy as in the original series, however Naruto and Sasuke have grown rather close in the past years. Naruto is hoping to get in the same team as Sasuke, and that was one of the reasons he wanted to be in the same year as in the academy as him. Another time skip of two years. We find ourselves in the academy with Naruto, Sasuke, and sadly Sakura as well. Naruto and Sasuke became even closer. Sasuke knows Naruto trains in his free time, but he doesn't know that he trains with a Hokage himself. Over the years, Hiruzen has also helped Naruto control more of the Jubi's power without going on rampage. Naruto is actually only allowed to use the power that he needs for something whilst he is in the academy, so he won't hurt anyone else. If you don't know what I mean by that, I just mean like, for example, if there is a spar, he is not allowed to actually hurt the other person because he's powerful enough to do that. Iruka and the other teachers were told to never let Naruto and Sasuke fight, even just if it was a friendly match. 
because it could hurt and break their relationship and make Naruto go on a rampage, which even the Hokage is afraid of because of Naruto's sheer strength. Even though Naruto is thought of as tied with Sasuke in power, meaning he's a prodigy, nobody in his class except Sasuke himself likes Naruto. Even Hinata is a little bit afraid of Naruto because of all the stories she's heard of the monster that lies inside of Naruto. On the day of the passing exam, Naruto and Sasuke pass with flying colors, of course, but Mizuki doesn't allow that to stop him and his plans. Mizuki tells Naruto to steal the scroll of, to steal the scroll of sealing. Although Naruto knows that's a lie, and he, he's already passed, but Naruto still steals the scroll, looks through it, and pretends to train, although he knows the jutsu that he wants from that scroll. Waiting for Mizuka, Mizuki to come and try to steal the scroll from him. Mizuki finally arrives and throws a shuriken at Naruto, and when Iruka is about to stop the shuriken and save Naruto, Naruto teleports behind Mizuki and pins him down in a heartbeat. Iruka is shocked by this. But before he can speak and do anything, Naruto teleports to the Hokage's office and tells Hiruzen what happened. Hiruzen suspected something like this would happen and felt Mizuki's even, evil intent. intent. Mizuki is sent to prison, Naruto is now Geni. Now comes the introductions for Team 7. Sakura Haruno. I want to protect the one I love and be with him forever, whilst glaring at Sasuke. Sasuke says, I need to revenge my clan by killing a certain person, but I also need to surpass someone in strength. This, of course, be Naruto. Then it's Naruto's turn. And he says, I'm going to become the strongest shinobi to have ever lived, and I'm going to become Hokage, and prove to everyone that Jinchuriki are people too. That speech reminds Kakashi of Obito's dream, but thinks nothing of it. Kakashi tells everyone about the bell test, and tells them not to eat before the test, else they will vomit. How will Naruto stack up against Kakashi in the bell test? Find out in the next episode of What If Naruto Had the Ten Tails. See ya.